Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Guns, Nerds, and Steel. And welcome to Camp Fubar. <laughs> this is named after a Patreon supporter, Fubarly, and I caught it on the random number generator, and so I thought it would be a perfect name for the base here. So Camp Fubar. Now, this is what I'm doing here. If you didn't already catch this from the comments or from your own playthrough, but if you park on the elevator and you log off the game and you log back on, the vehicle ends up drop, whoops, dropping through the floor down to the bottom, which uh, probably damages the vehicle. But then when you lower the elevator, of course, you're just going to smush it. And um, I <laughs> I loaded up the game and it smushed and it like destroyed everything. So like the elevator was destroyed, the vehicle blew up, it was just bad. So yep, that's why we make backup save game files. Also, I have already played through this first like five minutes and then my game froze. <laughs> so here we go, right, take two. Right, so what I was gonna do to start off with today is do a little bit of rearranging. So give me this here. And I already know this, but this was damaged somehow, but I wanna take this up here. Then I want to take this, but this is full of stuff, so give me all that crap, cancel all those, and uh, take. And then I want the maintenance station, and I'll put the workbench there, artisan table there, and while that's there, just start getting me some brick shapes. Like, yeah, give me all those. I want to make a ladder that goes downstairs. The the elevator is great for like carrying up cargo from the vehicle so I don't have to make multiple trips on foot up and down. But uh, I do like to just make, you know, very easy quick trips up and down myself just if I'm, you know, crafting and stuff like that. So I'm going to make a little bit of a ladder system here. There goes all my frames. We're definitely going to have to do some tree chopping. Uh, by the way, can I get anything made into wood planks? Uh, I've got a few pieces of wood here. As for these couple of stations, how about we do the maintenance station here and the disassembly station there and then just work on disassembling whatever you were doing before. Right, that reminds me, we have some schematics and stuff from yesterday. Whoop, put the nerdy glasses on. And I think the only one I want to keep is the shotgun turret. We'll probably use that at some point to fend off birds and whatnot. But uh, the rest of this crap, especially dart traps, you know, too much iron goes into that crap. It's just a nuisance to me and honestly, not really worth it. Fuel saver, I already have one, so I'm not too keen on having two. I'd rather have the research data. Man, I get, I'm getting a lot of flack these days about scrapping stuff. So let's just um, go over this real quick because uh, I just want to maybe put it to bed a little bit. People are not happy that I'm <laughs> scrapping these books. So I think I, I probably found the pure, pure mineral water book at some point and people were like, oh my god, no, you could have had unlimited mineral water. Guys, honestly, I have a ton of mineral water. I'm not thirsty at all. If you were doing a multiplayer playthrough, yes, you probably want to have someone that knows how to make all the foods and drinks and whatnot, but me... Nah, not so much. Harvest military fibers would be great, but guys, that that we have to uh, finish the series. And like, I don't want to beat a dead horse here, but look, if one, two, three, four, five, six books here that I don't really want, if I found all six of those books and scrapped them, that's 300 research data. Or I could just spend 200 research data to research the military fiber recipe and get it for myself. So, you know, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> right, okay. Enough of that. Let's see here. What else are we doing? We're trying to upgrade the research station because I would really like to get the jackhammer today. So we're going to need a few more books. I think, what was that? We needed 12 or something? Uh, 22, in fact. So we'll need 10 more research and we are getting really really low on paper doesn't this require paper how much paper 50 paper so we'll have enough of that we will so as soon as the books are good we're done let's get a hammer into the inventory all right let's fire up the chemistry station get a whole bunch of gas crafting i think i'm just limited like i don't have very many barrels and things like that so yeah just get all of that going oh a generator can i get one of those yet i sure can and oh, I can get electric fences too, which we're gonna need those for the pit. Probably not for this next door. Maybe, maybe. What do we need here? We just need really iron. That's it. Well, I'm kind of saving iron right now. By the way, that should be done. Can I go down there, please? Yep, there's the iron right there. There's a little bit more iron there. We can turn that into more iron plates. Do that. Still got several minutes left on the books. Uh, let's see here. I, I think I wasn't wearing the nerdy glasses, so we'll get that going. Five minutes. Uh, what can we do for five minutes? Let's head down to the bottom level and start doing some clearing of the area. I would like to get all of this kind of cleaned up so that, number one, the view is better, and number two, we can stop running into 
bits of iron and trees and crap like that. Right, well, we gotta start somewhere. Here we go. Alright, I'd say that's a pretty good start right there. I want to get this all basically cleared out and what I was kind of thinking is that um, See all these mining nodes that are right here. We've got titanium iron and coal over there I'm thinking maybe we could turn that little shack there into like a mining Entrance and then dig down and then dig over into all of these resources That way we're kind of like below ground if a wandering horde shows up or something like that a little bit safer All right, let's get this stuff back in I just did notice that when I'm harvesting these burnt trees I wasn't really getting as many resources out of them mainly a lot of charcoal Which I'm not sure what that's good for also wasn't getting a lot of resin out of them. How are we looking here? We've got uh, everything we need. I think yes upgrade this Research station tier three. The whole world is our oyster now. We can research anything we want. The only thing I really want though is that jackhammer and that's going to require, damn it, 10 more books. Uh, is it possible to make paper? That would be a chemistry station thing, right? Paper, murky water. Okay, I think I have murky water. It's just, it's way down here. Unfortunately, the stuff that's way down here does not reach me when I'm upstairs. It's not like close enough. Um, and looks like I'm out of murky water. Oh no, I have a little bit right there. Yeah, maybe that means we need to go over and grab the well probably. Ooh, look at the gas. Okay, um, this is gonna make 10 a piece. I think I only needed, oh, I needed quite a bit. Let's just get all of it, I guess. Ooh, glue. Well, I can make glue, so that's no big deal. Ah, uh, one thing after the other. Ooh, I'm terribly encumbered. Help. Well, we need paper, so presumably we need to just do a raid. Oh yes, I wanted to see. Can I plant these and they turn into like actually good trees? Uh, it kind of looks like they do. Stick them over here in the burned biome. Ah, there's a horde. Let's do this. Oh, I'm suddenly out of stamina. Crap. Oh, not doing too good already. Luckily, all of them didn't like start their running animation, which is super weird, but I'll take it. Any more of you guys hiding back here? Nah, we're good. Okay, looks like we're not gonna be able to get the jackhammer for a little while. So what we will do instead is start collecting clay and the artisan table right here should have some shapes for me. So what we really need to get is a lot of clay to make a lot of bricks to make a lot more shapes so that we can get this base kind of solidified, especially down on the ground level. And we now have plenty of fuel. And of course we have this class B auger and any mods I could throw on that maybe? Like a large fuel tank mod, tempered blade, I don't know, weighted head. Let's just try everything. Bunker buster, I, I can get four mods. Look at that, nice. Let's see, I cannot refuel this with the gasoline barrel. Can I hopefully do it with that? Yes, I can do it with the regular gasoline can. And then somewhere around here should have a rock buster. Take that, and for this, we're gonna definitely need the van. And I think, you know, there's not a lot of clay here in the wasteland, but we come right over here into the burned biome. This is all clay right here. So this, where's our uh, new clay mine gonna be? How about uh, right here? This is fine.
All right, well, that's it for that. Bring her up to the fourth floor. Let's see what we got there. That was, oh my God, like just over 4,000 clay. That's our biggest haul yet. What I want to do is just uh, back this up a little bit so we get access to the back. And I stand here in range of the resources bin. Open, uh, just give me all. And stash it away right in there, perfect. So that should allow me to, what do I need here? Put the brick mold in, start that up, reset, and how many clay bricks? Oh, so many. So craft those for the next 45 minutes. Maintenance station, fix up that, oh no. Ooh, that's bad. Insufficient station level to repair the auger. Ooh, what do I need to fix this up? Uh, 600 research data, advanced repair kit. Otherwise, oh, lots of steel. Damn, that's that's a lot. Oh, scrap titanium. Well, we got, wait a minute, scrap titanium. Where do I get that from? Oh, perhaps I have to get titanium ore and then I scrap it into scrap titanium. Okay, that makes sense. Well, I guess we're done digging clay for a while. Good thing we got plenty of it. I suppose, oh no, repairing it probably requires, uh, where's the, oh no, repaired with a regular repair kit. Okay, so, or we could take it over to the trader and repair it there. I still don't think I'm in a position right now to get the jackhammer, am I? No, I need five more books. How are we looking on the uh, paper front over here? Well, well, I think I'm done sticking around the base for the day. Let's head over and do the tier four quest there for Captain Ellen and see what that nets us. We'll have, a, we'll have to focus on um, harvesting up some boxes while we're there to get the paper supplies back up. In terms of our items, we have plenty of... Uh, everything's repaired well enough anyway. We have plenty of ammo. We're locked and loaded. We're ready to go. And it's late, so <laughs> this is going to turn into a night raid. Ooh, that's not good. Oh, no, 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 that's bad. Um, Can I just quickly take that? That probably did some damage uh, by the sound of things. Right. <laughs> Let's try not to do that again. All right, I'll meet you over at that tier four. All right, this looks like the spot right here. Let's hit the quest and see what we get here. Ooh, dire wolf, okay. <laughs> Off to a great start here. All right, that's it for him. By the way, do I have any skill points? I haven't checked yet today. Skills, perks. We have one skill point. What's gonna help us out here today? How about a point into gunslinger? That works for me. A little bit of, I just heard that thunder crack and I was like, oh my, Good lord, is it Horde Knight? <laughs> no, it's not. Okay, let's just grab up some of these materials. Oh, hello. Ooh, I got a compact engine out of that. Whoa, hello. Uh, Feral. Oh, and someone came out the window. Ah! Damn. I think we're good on these yellow lights here. I only needed like five, and I have like 12 or something like that. So we're good there. What do we got in here? A little bit of a construction area. More clay, more clay bricks. Let's see if we get any engines out of here. A truck engine? Oh man, that's a hundred pounds. Uh, jeez. I'm gonna go put that in the truck. And I get a compact engine maybe out of it. Not today. Oh, a wire tool. I think that's my first one, so that's a good find. Who's out here? Spider boy, are you part of a horde? Like, aren't spiders kind of like not very common during the day in the temperate biome? Oh, would you hold still? I'm done with this guy. What, what are you doing? Okay, he burned out. Yeah, this is what we're looking for right here. This will give us plenty of paper, I think. What is it, like 15, 20, 25, 16. We'll have to do a little bit of an experiment here. If I take this, and then scrap it, it's only good for 10. So yeah, better off just uh, hitting it with your ax. All right, let's get a move on. It's gonna be dark. Oh my God, a red feral white. What do you call these? A, a, a ra radiated white or is it a radiated feral white? Oh my God, it's scary. And I do not like finding these guys in the wild. Look how freaking strong he is. There we go. Dog. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna hide on the fence here. Another dog. 
Ow, you, you hit me? Are you kidding me? I can't hit you, wow. Okay, we're gonna need some first aid here if we're gonna go any further. Okay, where's the guy that's beating on? Oh, another rat, wow. Here, eat this. Stop, oh crap. Ow, um, guns. Waking all sorts of people up here. This is a dangerous place, I don't like this so far. Hello, here we go. Barrel. Ow, oh geez. Here, eat some food maybe. Uh, just softies, not worried about them too much. Phew, okay, what do we got going on here? Oh, I'm stuck, come on, let me in here. Aha, uh -huh. what is this? Uh, traps, I don't like the looks of this. Let's hope for the best, but prepare for the worst. Also, my fire axe is about to break, which is unfortunate. Aha, a little secret spot. Oh yes, and these, we are going to start harvesting because you can get military fiber out of them. And some people informed me that in the comments. I had forgotten all about that. Moving right along. It's like all kinds of secret stuff up here. Beer barrels are empty. Lanterns, I like the lanterns. And uh, more spikes. Oh wow, hardened chest. What? Don't mind if I do, I guess. Uh, let's do lucky goggles, eye candy. And tell me I brought the timed charges I did not. That's weird. So I guess we'll have to do Jailbreaker instead. That's okay. Let's we'll just pick it open. This must be like a secret room for the main loot. There we go. Whatever it is, it's mine now. Sniper book here. 10% more damage when using a scope. I can't say that I think that that's very valuable. I'm just going to scrap it then. And the rest is kind of junk. I think I'll take that, Hackers. Maybe we'll do some uh, breaking down while we're here. Uh, how long does Hackers last for? Is that 10 minutes or five minutes? 10 minutes. Yeah, just give me that, whatever. I don't think it's gonna make a huge difference here, but I'll just start breaking stuff down as I go. Get some snowballs, <laughs> that's funny. Ooh, yucca smoothie, good find. Oh geez, stuff in there. I'm gonna let them break it open so I don't have to do the, use my ax, but break. Oh, he's mad! Yikes! Up onto the fence! Go ahead and take one of those first aid kits. Running low on ammo already. Ooh, nice. Is that eye candy still active? It sure is. Should have put the looting goggles on, but forgot. Okay, are we good to go upstairs now? Ooh, another pool table. Aha. Hobo stew. Oh, compound crossbow schematic. I'm gonna just hold on to that for a minute so I can decide what to do with that. Those are all fake bookshelves. Those are both fake. Oh, here's a real one. A uh, powered sliding iron door. I'm gonna go ahead and hang on to that for a minute because instead of spending the research data oh, uh, getting the glass one, I think I will, um, I'll read that and just no, we'll use the non-glass ones if we have to. Okay, you know what I would really like to have is some night vision goggles, because then we could just like stealth this entire thing. I think we are heading up to the second floor now. Ooh, fish tacos. I will just, I guess I'll just read that. I have some tuna fish at home, so it's a tuna fish and cornmeal or something like that, isn't it? Oh my God, another rad. I do not like the, the population of rads in this POI. Freaking ninja stripper here. Get out of here. Okay, luckily Arlene is not, well, she's crafty, but she's uh, she's not much of a tank. Another vending machine? Yes, give me all this. Oh wait, I had the fish tacos. That takes salmon, doesn't it? I just saw the salmon, it kind of like prompted my memory there. Dog food, I guess we could use that. Some more jailbreakers, I think I'm good there. Yep, okay, where are we going first? Which one's unlocked? We got one unlocked here, gonna go lights out. I know it's hard to see, it's hard for me to see, but you you end up getting things like that where I just caught the shadow of that dog's head there. There we go. Also, Arlene here. Oh, we got a dog there, he didn't see me though. Okay, looks like we're good. <laughs> the dog was like standing up on the stove. Oh, feral white. Oh boy, makes me wish I had something like a club. By the way, I have a titanium club that I found I think yesterday. See, open the door, smack him in the face, close the door, trick didn't work! Ah! 
He's resisting my stuns. Oh, there we go. Oh, and this guy left me a loot bag. So getting in the habit here, lucky goggles on, check the loot. Leather chest armor, not the best, but I'll take it. Why is there a noose here? That's creepy. Oh, look at this. False panel. Oh, that's how you get in. Wait a minute. This is not the loot room. Oh, crap. Oh, I ran into the spikes. Ow, damn it. You can do it, buddy. I believe in you. Yeah, here they come. They're coming from outside. Oh, hey, skill point. Just like that. Well, let's have a look. I'd say we probably should just wait, hold off, try to get another point into agility at some point. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, look right here. Three mineral waters, just like that. That's like a whole day supply. I think slowly but surely we're pushing our way through this place. From here, it looks like the way to go is upstairs this way. Okay, lights out again. Carefully, there are still zombies outside. I think they are coming up behind me. Oh, there's the satchel right there. We got zombies that are awake though. They're behind doors. Let's grab this. Still gotta clear the area we cannot leave yet. Yeah, waking up more zombies outside. There's more leather armor there, which is kind of nice. All these doors are locked, so we'll have to pick the locks. Here, can I just do this? And that way, zombies are blocked from coming up behind me. A little bit, at least. Oh, biker! Here, get the gun ready. Oh, yep, there's a zombie that's asleep out there, too. Prepare to fire! Ooh, just like that. You take one, too. Ah, here, here she is, right here. It worked. Yeah, just messed up her pathing just enough so she thought she couldn't come through there. Yeah, I guess just use my axe. It's about to break. I've been trying not to break my axe, but otherwise we're going to be here all night. I mean, we're kind of going to be here all night anyway. There, my axe is broken now. Here we go. Ha! Ah, whoa, scared the shit out of me, construction man! Uh-oh, I am out of stamina. Ow! Uh-oh. Waking more people up. Probably birds out here too. I guess we're just kind of running it right now. Oh crap. Why do they duck down like that? Damn it, fun pimps, fix that shit. Ah, ooh, okay. We've got a landmine maybe there or just, oh God, where did you come from? Ah, they're coming from out on the balcony. They're on the rooftop. Uh oh, yikes. All is quiet. The compass is clear. The area is not clear. We still have a little bit to go, it looks like. I guess my sword is the best chopping weapon. Oh, hello, Cole and other Cole. Give me a second here. Oh, no, I'm not ready. Ow. Damn. Aha, got a gun save here. Oh, that was a nice chop. Decapitation there. All right, bird, where are you? into the hot tub with you. Otherwise, looks clear out here. Ooh, we're getting the indicator. We're almost done. Zombies are downstairs. I can't even pick that, damn it. Okay, we gotta take another jailbreaker here. There we go. I don't think we need an eye candy just for this little gun safe here. Iron machete. Not even sure any of that was worth it. All right, last fight is right down here, I think. We'll go lights out again. Uh, I see the compass indicators, but I don't see the zombies. Okay, there's a crawler. And there's a businessman. I think we're good here. That's it. Wow, look at that. Oh, awesome loot in that little weapons bag there. Okay, so I think I'm just gonna poke around through here tonight and see if I can break some more stuff down, just kind of stock up on parts. And then I'll meet you over at Captain Ellen's in the morning. Oh, hey, look what we got here. An airdrop that I forgot about. <laughs> What's new? Well, might as well. Lucky, oh, nerd, uh, looting goggles are on, so we'll just check it. Uh, iron plates, not exactly what I would have liked to get there, but some food, and I'm a little bit hungry anyway. Here, just take that hobo stew. That'll give me like a whole bunch of hit points back. I'm kind of hurting here. Okay, let's swing in here and grab our reward, check the vending machine, the whole nine yards. Eye candy, nice. I'll take the hackers just because uh, I feel like we need to start breaking stuff down more often. I'm running low on jailbreakers. Atom junkies, I'll take one of those. If we can get the like pipe bomb recipe or the grenade schematic or something like that, we can start crafting our own explosives. Ooh, speaking of explosives, wow. Yep, I'll take that. Rocket launcher, what? <laughs> 
Okay, so we got Big C Farm, Apartment Complex, the z Bark Nightclub, Downtown Complex, Coleman's Drive-In. What about previous tier? What are you offering here? Really? Gas Station. I think what we'll do, I'll do the main loot gank on that so that we can get a couple extra passing gas boxes, and we can knock that out at some point. I believe that's Good. pretty close by to where we live. If we check the map here... Yeah, it's right there. It's like basically right on the way home. Okay, has it been Trader Restock Day? I've lost track of time. Day 37. Yes, it has. Wow, Titanium Axe. Got a couple books here. How are we doing on money? Not terribly good. Military Fiber, though. We're going to need that. Really, just like a whole bunch of books, which um, we kind of really? will probably need. What about you? I'm looking for a 9 mil, the Glock Honda. Yeah, I like that right there. Glock Honda. Yeah, that's not too bad. Magazine capacity 19, that's way better than the, the Beretta 9mm that we have. And that'll give us a way to rank up in pistols more during Horde Night and use a lot of our 9mm. So yeah, we definitely need to do a sell-off here in the very near future. Ooh, SMG auto turret schematic. Dune runner frame, we're gonna need that. Okay, oh. lots of stuff we need to come back for. I, I'm not gonna buy it now because I don't have the sugar butts and we need to do a bit of a sell-off anyway, I think, so... We'll table that. Day 37 is restock. So we could do that probably today or tomorrow before the horde. All right, here we go. A good old fashioned pass and gas raid. First things first though, any gasoline here. Right, what I'm gonna do though is uh, I'm gonna go against my my typical rule in that I do not double loot POIs, but I really wanna see those passing gas crates on the rooftop and see what's in them. Plus I got parkour skills, and this is what parkour was made for right here. And I've got sneaking skills. I, however, do not have very good lock picking skills. Oh crap. What do you think the chances are if I took an eye candy now that we could run through this POI and get back here for the end of the eye candy? I think it's worth a try. Let's do this. All right. Ooh, that was learning elixir. Let's go reset the quest. We did a fun little competition once to see who could clear this out the fastest. And um, I don't remember what my time was, but I believe it was something like a minute 30. But that was like all decked out in like really, really good end game gear. Got a few schematics there. We'll have to go through in a little bit. Just kind of lighten the load just a tad. Let's go ahead and take a mega crush. Why not? Hit the quest and uh, all right, who's in here? So I do know where all of the zombies are. There's, there's a chance for a couple to spawn over here. We'll kill them off. Okay, run, run, run. 50% chance of zombie spawns in here, yes. And then we go up and over here because this is a trigger room. Whoop, I woke them all up anyway, whatever. One in there sometimes, close that. Yep, there he is. Okay, we're doing fine so far. Run up here, one in the ceiling, maybe a couple. That was a barrel, whoops. Okay, now we can get our stealth on a little bit because there's usually a couple down there. Come back here, stripper. Where are you going? Into the spikes? We always have a few that spawn over here. Bird. Bird over there. Feral! Ah! Oh no, that's bad. All right, and that's it. And then you're on to the main loot. Area clear. And we should have plenty of time to loot up. Wow, that was my first try. I didn't even have to like wiggle the pick at all. What about this time? Ooh, sledge turret. Pretty good one too. Oh, I've gotten two chemistry stations out of that same friggin' box. What the hell? Okay, now we just gotta loot backwards. Sneaky hidden stash. Anything good in here? Crippler mod. I already have one. Oh my god, first try on that one too. Crazy luck today. Well, with that, I think we're just about done. Half of my tools are broken anyway, and I'm super encumbered. The van is probably like half full of stuff too, so let's just head back to the base, unpack, and see what we got. I think we got a horde, actually. 
Yes, we do. I'm just gonna leave because uh, I'm too encumbered for this shit. Yeah, there they come right there, barreling down the street. Oh boy. I suppose. Just get some space, open the van, stash, all, lag. Here we go. Proper goggles on. Get me some healing, and let's do this! Ah! And done. Good loot, too. Nice. Alright, let's go home. Well, we made it. And as we've learned, just pull forward a little bit. I don't even think you really have to do that, but then I can just say select all. It takes a second to get to calculate like 9,000 items coming in. And then I can just put all the heavy stuff in there. I'm still super encumbered. Hopefully I can get some more stuff out of here. Okay, so having a look here, we can finally do the jackhammer. We have just enough books. I think we found five in our travels today, so we can research that. And while that's going, I think we can sort of have a look at what we got today. Well, let's organize this a little bit more. Okay, everything's all set up now, so let's have a look here and see what we got. Two chemistry station schematics, of course, just scrap both of those. <laughs> Unfortunately, we spent all that research data, we could have just waited a little bit, but that's how it goes in seven days. So, powered... Uh, no, not the power. That is the powered. I don't want the powered, I want the regular, because... Oh, there's an airdrop. Yeah. Can you drop something in the wasteland, please? Oh, there you go! Thank you! Finally! Right, I'll grab that in a second. Oh! Well, damn it, I, I neglected to see that it was the powered door, so we're going to scrap that. I, we want unpowered stuff. Steel sledge, no. Off-road headlights, no. Compound crossbow. Why not? Let's do it. Yeah, let's just have that, and we'll take a look and see if we could craft it. Don't need that. We've already read it. Now, research station. Jackhammer schematic. Read that. And workbench tier 2. I can now craft, hopefully, a jackhammer. Yep, there it is right there, using my last compact engine, among many, many other things, but it doesn't look like uh, we're going to be critically short on anything except for maybe steel. So, craft that. Oh man, we're going to get so much iron here in a minute. By the way, I think research data is suddenly looking really, really good. We still have 931, and I don't have any clear indication right now of what I'm going to spend that on. I think I'm just happy to get the jackhammer for now. Okay, there it is. The jackhammer is through. We should probably see if we could upgrade it at all. Requiring steel plates and leather. Where is the leather that I can't... Oh, so we kind of do have to stand in the middle, it looks like. So if I'm working on this end and the storage is up on that end, just have to kind of stand off a little bit, and I'm fine with that. We do need more steel, though. And of course, that's um, an issue. So, instead of um, upgrading it, I suppose what we'll do is... We'll just go start collecting some iron. We're gonna need it anyway. And we'll bring the vehicle for this. This is the, kind of the whole point of it, so that we can stash the vehicle full of ore and then drag it all back in one trip. Okay, so here's what I'm kind of thinking here. I want to drill down. Maybe we'll just go down to bedrock and see what we can find. And then we'll drill over this way because we know that there's a big chunk of iron here. I bet this is all iron underneath my feet right now. There's also coal and the titanium over there. But we'll just have one entrance to the mine. And I think that'll be like, uh, like right here somewhere. And then maybe eventually we can like fortify this in a little bit if the screamer thing becomes an issue. I forgot the gas. Crap. Refuel. Oh my god, it's carving through it like butter. <laughs> I love it. Okay, get the ladder started, and I guess we'll just use regular tools a little bit. Okay, we're down to the stone. Oh my god, that goes so fast. Wow, that is nice. Okay, we gotta try to do the trick where we don't keep pressing the button, because every time you press the button, you're adding heat. You want to hold the button whenever you can. Let's just rip down to bedrock. Oh, look at that. I found iron already. Well, <laughs> I suppose we could just mine here then. All right, we have an escape route. Let's get as much iron as we can carry and then just start carting it upstairs. Oh, crap. Forgot all about it. Get the Rockbusters in. Oh, man. I'm, I'm now super encumbered. Preemptively, just get a steroid into me. Okay, that helps. I can walk again. Uh, in fact, 
I'm not even encumbered now. Well, let's get some more. All right, this has to be like dramatically increasing the heat level around here. So we have to be extra cautious about screamers. Someone was commenting the other day that we haven't seen a screamer yet on the series. And uh, that's true. Yeah, I haven't seen any screamers. Oh, I didn't even have the Iron Breaker mod on here. Man, I'm such a rookie sometimes. There we go. I'm really enjoying the new sound that Undead Legacy has for things like this. You're not getting that loud clanky noise. I mean, it's loud, don't get me wrong, but I feel like I could probably hear zombies coming from behind me. Item needs repairs. Okay, I'm just gonna use the shovel then for a minute and get all this kind of cleaned out. Oh, I hear a screamer now. She's upstairs. See, we've cleared out a really good mine here so far. Okay, let's brave the surface and see if we can find that screamer. Yeah, I can hear her. Let's get top side. Charge! Where are you? Did you scream? Unfortunately, I just kind of jump up here for safety if I have to. I don't I don't know that zombies could get up here. Yeah, she did not scream. We've managed our first encounter pretty well. All right, let's go check out that airdrop. All right, let's get the right pair of goggles on for this. See what we get. Grandpa's Moonshine and Arranged Mods Bundle number three. I don't know. Do you guys think we need Grandpa's Moonshine? <laughs> I mean, you can barely see when you have it active, so it's not really good for filming purposes. Kind of fun here and there, but yeah, I think I'll probably scrap that. Now, one of these days, I'm going to swing this thing right into the drink, and that's going to be a real fun time because I can't carry it back out. I'll probably get a bit of like a, of a landing or I don't know what you'd call it, like a little balcony, a little shelf that goes over the edge there a little bit. Oh, yes, we're still working on the clay bricks. I forgot to put enough fuel in it, so you can just sit in here for for now check on that ranged mods bundle that would be a full auto trigger schematic which i don't need and i have plenty of composite strings already well fair amount of research data out of that thing i guess right what's it going to take for me to upgrade the maintenance station oh geez books military five yeah we're not even close to that i forgot titanium oh boy we'll work on that some other time we for now i think we need to probably start working on the horde base Okay, yeah, we've got 161 shapes to play around with right now. Probably it's pretty important to kind of shore this place up a little bit. Maybe get a roof over our heads. Oh shit! Oh, I sprayed my leg! It's okay, nothing a little bit of steroids can't fix. That kind of reminds me, we should probably get a railing on here, shouldn't we? We'll get there eventually. And unfortunately with that, I'm down to a whopping eight more frames. So since resources seem to be a problem, we have a bit of a bottleneck right now, making clay bricks, making brick shapes, making iron into ingots and plates and stuff like that. Perhaps what we should look into doing is getting some things crafted. Let's get two generators. I'll have like one for the living area and a generator specifically for the horde base. So we can start on that. Oh, and now that we have the wire tool, we can probably start getting some stuff set up. Oh yeah, it's gonna be good. All right, so looking around, I think probably that corner up there is gonna be a good spot for the generator. Okay, that's one generator there. Does that look okay? Does that look acceptable? What can we get here? We need wire actually. So the wire tool is not just like an automatic, you can wire stuff up. You have to have wire in your inventory and that's how you connect everything together. I don't know, let's just put like one car engine in there for now and see how that goes. And I brought a whole bunch of fuel. So I think, um, you know, we're gonna need to put it in here eventually. So just toss it on in. I am crafting a little bit more. That takes a lot of fuel. I hope this thing doesn't burn a lot of fuel. In fact, with all those empty canisters, let's just see if I can get even more of this crafted. Looks like I'm really doing well on resources. So yeah, get all of that gasoline crafted. I think someone was telling me you can get like an oil extractor. Is that it right there? We're needing another, ooh, an auger. Well, we have an extra auger. We'll need more nuts and bolts and a generator and then lots of iron plates. Okay. Uh, Put that on the back burner. I do really like that idea though. Here, pick this up because we're about to get things wired up here. Have I found any relays? I have a timer relay and I have actual regular relays. How would I set that up? Let me just brainstorm that for a second. We need uh, the timer relay to be there and then like a regular relay there. Generator to timer, timer to 
the lights to this side to the lights and then the lights go downstairs in a daisy chain. I wish there was a way like in Darkness Falls to clean up the wires. Maybe there is. Does like a junction box work? Okay, so then we can just turn the generator on and see what we get out of this. Okay, we've got a start time of 6 p.m. and an end time of 6 a.m. Probably doesn't even need to be that, like 5 a.m., I guess. All right, we got lights now. Ooh, wow, look at the sunset. That is bright, yikes. And another thing you can do here is uh, edit these lights and you can change it to like literally anything you want. You have all the creative mode presets or whatever for your lights. So you can increase the range, you can turn on shadows, you can increase the intensity. How about that? We got purple and green okay so in the comments guys let me know what kind of a color scheme we should go with we literally have any color to choose from so <laughs> what do you want to see we could change it every week and down here i think we'll go like uh red and blue for just a little bit all right man that's so cool i love it yeah we'll get a nice light to kind of hang over the pool table here and uh, i think we're pretty good i don't know what is the power draw here right now 27 watts i wish it kind of told you the time remaining See, we have 129 gas there out of 600. Wow, that's a lot. So yeah, that, that should turn off in the morning and then there shouldn't be but like one watt power draw from the electric timer relay. So we shouldn't burn through gas during the daytime. Generator right there. And that one's gonna be for the horde base side. I can't put it in here. This area is off limits because the elevator is taking up all of the space. I can't cram it in that corner there because the railing is in the way. Put it in the ceiling, maybe? No, uh, I want to maybe put it in the floor. Uh, what if I, what if I carve this block here out? Yeah, and I could put the generator down there. You know, that, that would probably be perfect because we'd be able to hide the wires kind of well, especially for like the blade trap right there. I wonder, can I go one more down though? Where does that put me? Oh, through the bottom. But I think there are blocks that need to be placed down there anyway. That actually can just be a regular block right there. Like so. Okay, I think that'll come out good once we get the material to finish it up. And speak, oh, look at the, oh, look at the lights, guys. This looks so cool with the sunset. Wow, nice. How about this one? Oh man, this is awesome. Loving it. Right, where were we? We were putting the generator down here somewhere. I think down there is gonna be fine. We'll just pop it in there for now and we'll see how it goes. Gonna need an engine for it though. Car engine seems to be fine, I think for now at least. We're just doing basically lights, electric fences, blade trap, just one blade trap. People always ask me, why don't you put blade traps down in the pit there? Well, because they're just going to get destroyed, basically, and the one that's out there will probably get destroyed too, but I don't want to sink a whole ton of resources into it, quite honestly. Just do what we can there. So, refuel, put the engine in, turn on. I think we just we just want, like, regular light out here. Oh, don't I have spotlights? I, I picked up spotlights at Red Mesa, didn't I? Where are those? Aha, right there. Okay, so that's what that portion is going to look like. I think that looks pretty cool. Gives it some uh, stability. And then we put the spotlight in like so. And get a good look at this. That, I think, is going to do it right there. Reorient it down to the middle of the ladder and it'll cast a good light over the pit. Okay, so for now, we can just uh, turn that off and we'll just turn that on during Horde Night, just our Horde Night generator. Don't need torches anymore. And yeah, so for the remainder of the night, guys, I think I'm just going to tend the furnaces and make shapes and all that stuff and get ready for the big construction project of tomorrow. Shouldn't have to worry about cops or demos. Let's have a look at the game stage. If nothing has changed, your game stage has to be, what was it, I think 152 in order to get demos. So we're way off from that. We'll get plenty of cops, I'm sure. And maybe, maybe, maybe I can get some electric fences done and we can get that stuff installed as well. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a night. And tomorrow we continue to forge our legacy. We are the tip of the spear, raiders in the night, avengers for all mankind. We are the Order of Steel. While you're waiting for the next video, check out some of the content on the end screen here. But if you just can't wait to see what happens next, jump on my Patreon and see if early access is right for you. Huge thank you to those of you who continue to support the growth and development of this channel. You all are the true nerds of steel. Anyway, my name is Tamreki, and I hope this video has earned your subscription, and that I'll see you in the next one. But until then, I wish you all the very best. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.